and gentlemen to crusader kings 2 the war of conquest continues it is either golden joe oblivion we're back with our man king egg on the scourge of wrath town and last episode lapis last episode we crushed the reach we crushed the lannisters and we've begun the invasion oh no 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 no, no. we invaded the Vale, but they were so weak and cowardly that they bent the knee and surrendered and so now we march on the north and our allies are systematically wiping out the north so there's not a threat for us the crossing has risen up in rebellion i believe because we attempted to imprison their liege lord who was acting dishonorably towards uh, the mighty king aegon and house lannister rose up in rebellion and in, uh, in, 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 in response to this, I decided that we were going to take the dragons back to Casterly Rock and destroy all of House Lannister. However, a lot of you in the comments section have mentioned how... Well, maybe not a lot of you. A lot of you actually wanted me to kill the Lannisters, but one person, I apologize for not remembering your name, uh, suggested that to kill all these people here, people who essentially had nothing to do with the Westerlands rising in rebellion, uh, would make King Aegon rather... Um, rather uh butcherous he he would be seen yeah he wasn't he wasn't a terrible uh, uh uh bloodthirsty ruler he was rather merciful and uh and just just we can see that's right here in our character traits so we are not going to kill these people we're going to take them into house arrest they'll be treated with mercy they'll be treated well and we will make the Lannisters bend the knee, and we will take the title of the Westerlands away from King Lauren and give it to, to a house that's more loyal. Which I think is going to be House Rain, because I like House Rain, and they have not risen up in rebellion, and they're actually aiding us against the crossing. Now, before we go any further, before we go any further, there's a few things I want to talk about, a lot of things to talk about, actually. And. God, what is it? What was I going to say? Oh, I wanted to say we need to establish a few ground rules. And when I say we, I actually mean ground rules for myself. But you all in the comment section have uh, helped me decide what this is going to be. And because there's been a lot of talk about who's going to get what titles, who's going to be uh, uh, left in charge of the different areas of Westeros. And I think what we've decided, or what I've decided, is that... We're not going to let any High Valyrians or any Valyrians in general rule over uh, 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 the regions of Westeros. Every region will have their own ruler, own house that comes from that region, right? So we're not going to have, unfortunately for Aethon Valerian, Valerion, we're not going to let him rule the north. Instead, we're going to have it be a northerner because people have made it uh, clear to me that if we have uh, uh, foreigners ruling over each region of Westeros, that's essentially just having a puppet there who rules the land, but the land, the people don't like whoever's ruling them. So they'll just overthrow them inevitably. So we need to put local houses of each region in command of those particular regions. That's That way, uh, the people will have someone that they can relate to in charge of them, who will in turn be loyal to King Aegon. That's ground rule number one. Ground rule number two is dragons will not be shared with any other house. Any other house that, has, that makes attempts towards taming dragons, um, we have to stop that. I, I don't really know how we're going to do that yet, but eventually when we have enough dragons, because some, some people have pointed out, dragons can grow exponentially, i.e. they can lay lots of eggs. Or they could just have not no no babies at all. Anyways, we can't let dragons, the, the, the main edge of House Targaryen, fall into the hands of any other house. This includes fellow uh, uh, Valyrian houses. Uh, High Valyrians, uh, the High Valyrians of House Valerion and Celtigar, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. They are not allowed to tame dragons, and if we and we can see that they want to, they desperately want to, but we cannot let them have the dragons because what will inevitably happen is once they get dragons, they will now be on par with House Targaryen, and they will be able to overthrow us because the one thing that stops dragon riders are other dragon riders. And the last thing I want to happen is a dance of dragons. As exciting as that would be, this was not meant... I, I did not start the series to create a dance of dragons. I did it to create a dynasty that would last a thousand thousand years. And so it shall. And 
I think that the, those two, two those two rules would be the uh, those would be the ground rules for right now. We might add more later on. Something else I wanted to mention is that uh, this recording is occurring on uh, a Sunday, and as many of you know, I uh, I upload videos not through my own home internet, but through a Wi-Fi from an external location, and. While that seems to have worked for almost a year now, it's coming up on the one-year anniversary for the channel. Well, it seems to be working right now. Unfortunately, it means that I can't upload on Sundays because the location I go to is closed. Uh, so, but the good news, the good news is that starting this Friday, I am installing my own personal internet connection. So that will allow, well, uploads much more frequently. It'll be a lot easier for me. It'll save me a lot more time. And in theory, we will have no more missed days of uploading. So you should be able to look forward to updates uh, 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 Monday through Sunday, all week long, which is the goal. That is the goal. And I feel that'd be a pretty, pretty, pretty good, pretty good change. There might be some more changes uh, accompanied with the one year anniversary of the channel. I'm still working on that and I kind of want it to be a surprise. So, uh, just everybody stay tuned and look forward to that. Anyways, I have dithered enough. It is time. It is time to, to finish the wars. Let's see. What do I got here? I got a large army from the crossing right here. That's kind of concerning. And I've got enemies in the capital. Bastards. Okay, what are we how, how, what are we gonna do with the Lannisters? We've cr we've crushed we've taken Casterly Rock. Actually, yes, we've taken Casterly Rock. Let's take the Sept of Casterly Rock, and let's get these armies back on the ships. How many armies does he have left? Four thousand. All right, let's get our men back on the ships and go back to the capital, because I believe the rest of their men are in Dragonstone. Oh, excellent! King Lorne surrenders. Fantastic. All right, the war for Westerlander in, uh, 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 independence has ended. King Aegon has won. Yes. Yes. Why do these guys have such a uh, high war score? Oh, they control all their holdings. Well, that won't be for long. Uh, let's get the men down here. We're going to retire these guys again. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we should just uh, maybe we should just let them fight. Fight the, 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 the crossing. Uh, just this one time. How many kids do we have? Only two, Princess Rey, who's looking like our lunatic heir, and then Princess Daenerys. Um, some people have mentioned, not some people, I think it's Joey Cognition who brought it up to, uh, said, this 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 match here doesn't really make sense. Oris and Daenerys doesn't make sense. Oris is way too old, and he's not even High Valyrian. I thought he was. He's Westerosi, so we can't. Marrying Daenerys to Oris would be murkying the bloodline, so we are going to break this betrothal. Oris won't like it, but... Uh, well, Oris can deal with it. There is something else. Was it something that had to be done with the dragons, I believe? Demand King's Landing? No, we're not going to do that. A lot of people want me to take King's Landing, but I refuse. I refuse. Um, Baby dragon. Yes, baby dragon. Name's Snow. An ugly dragon. Apparently, that makes them more prestigious. Limigon. Oh, yes. The spontaneously... Spontaneously... Oh, cool sigil. Not, not, not much of a house, but it's a cool sigil, sigil all the same. Can't rename Esseval, not yet. And we've got the Dragon Snow. Snow! Who rides this? Oh, Ray does. Excellent. Cool. All right. The Lannisters have been defeated, and what we need to do is we need to take the Westerlands away from uh, 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 Lord Paramount Lauren. All right. We've usurped the title Kingdom of the Westerlands. I don't think we can take any more of his titles. I mean, we can try. High Lordship of Casterly Rock. Oh, shit. You know what? Maybe that's what we need to do. We just need to take the rock away from the Lannisters. Since he is a traitor, our vassals will not object. Excellent! So he is now just a regular lord. Now, if we try to take Casterly Rock away from him, that will be seen as uh, tyrannical, so we're not going to do that. I would love to see King Loren banished, though, and Prince Lorien put in Casterly Rock. I'd love to see that. So let's call him for a trial. Who is our Hand of the King? Gil Gilinos. Oh, he seems like a smart man. Gilinos. All right. Let's 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 do it. Call Prince Lauren for a trial. I don't know. Maybe he'll be found innocent. Who knows? Who knows? And then, uh, God damn it. Where's my army? There it is. Lord Lannister. Lord Lauren Lannister has demanded a trial by combat. That is that is fine by me. 
um, is complaining about the dark cells in the dungeon that he and his family are occupying and is asking for more suitable recommendations that would befit their rank. Reasonable request gate granted. We will, we will be merciful. We will be merciful. And we were going to destroy this army of the crossing, but we're going to land in the Cape of Eagles first. Arrange a betrothal. Ah, Oris wants to marry Daenerys. I'm sorry, sir. I cannot. Oh, he's stressed out about it too, poor guy. But I cannot. We cannot murky the bloodline. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on a second. Somebody said that there is a Valerion or Keltigar that is available. Uh, my religion. I don't care about my religion. I care about my culture. My culture. Female. Not in prison. Hopefully not married. Bela. Vera. Ah. Uh, yeah, of course our mother. But there is Vera here. She is High Valyrian. Where is she? Where'd she come from? She is a High Valyrian. She's not a very good looking High Valyrian, but she is a High Valyrian. I don't... Is she missing the blue eyes? Hmm. Well, you know what? We do need a third wife. The more wives we have, the better. So let's arrange this marriage. Yeah, she is just a courtier, but she is a High Valyrian courtier, and they're super duper rare. So we will marry this houseless High Valyrian. And then we have Bela, who is two years old. Interesting. We could make her a character of interest if we wanted to. Let's let's do that. Wait a minute. Let's not do that. No, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, instead... Hmm... Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm making things way too complicated. Let's continue with the war. And let's end... Uh, oh, hey. Visenya. Get Rainies in here. And we will crush this army from the crossing. And then we will go home. We will go home. After all, we can't let the... Uh, look at these cowards. They now view you with fear. As they should. As they should. Yes, march on the enemy. Destroy the twins. We tried to arrest Lord Jared because I believe he was plotting to kill somebody. And I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not very fond of that in my kingdom. All right, and let's let's destroy the, the crossing. Excellent. Dracarys. And we have annihilated them. Take them into house arrest. Excellent. The rebellion is over. We should probably take the crossing away from these guys, too. The second revolt against the rule of King Aegon, the Scourge of Wrath Town, has ended. And the revolts, the revolts will come. They will come. All right. Our men are handling the, uh, uh, the north well. I think it is time we uh, retire our armies. Due to the enemy presence in our homelands. All right. I think we can handle that. Get the men, get the men onto the ships, and then we will go here and we will destroy this northern army. The war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed. He will forfeit the crossing. Excellent. We've taken the high, the lordship, the high lordship of the crossing, and since he's a traitor, we can actually take the twins away from him. House Frey has effectively lost the twins, uh, and our domain is large enough to accommodate the twins, so that's good. And that's good. We could also use it to, as a reward. My prisoner, Jared Frey, is complaining. Uh, reasonable request. We will put them in house arrest. Lord Crispian is no longer master of coin. He is dead. Ah, oh, poor la poor, poor sir. Wait a minute. What is this? Crab's pincer. Nice. Uh, we need a new master of coin. Let's have um. Ah, uh, hold on. Maybe I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really satisfied with anyone we have available at the moment. Let's see if we can't. If we can't get uh, any culture. Any culture, I said, damn it. Um, Gunther, Master at Arms, he is giant. He is giant. You know what? I'm not really satisfied with anybody that we can invite. So we will pick Alton, Lord Alton of Krala Isle. He does have cancer, so he won't be around forever. But it is a position that he deserves. He's earned. And then we're getting our men back. Oh, madness and greatness are the two sides of the same coin. And every time a new Targaryen is born, the gods toss a coin in the air and the world holds its breath to see how it lands. This activated at the age of five. So we need to keep that in mind. At five, they, they get the Targaryen coin toss event. This child seems mad. So now she is a lunatic and she is possessed. 
poor Ray. She's got a she's got a great name, but um, she's got a great name, but uh, <laughs> she's been cursed by the gods, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hmm. All right. Let's get you on back here to Driftmark, and we will save House Valerian. Well, we're not actually going to save them. They're not in any danger. The 700 men here can't take the... Yes! And the war for the north has ended! Enforced demands! And we have gotten the Crown of Winter. Did we really get two, two Crowns of Winter? Oh, God damn it, we did. There is a double up. Um... Created the 1st of January, 1,000... Yeah, that's not good. Two crowns of winter. I don't know how I feel about that. We might have to destroy or sell one of them. But which one do we sell? You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you will play as Mary's Targaryen, um, who is also a lunatic. This brood is just awful. <laughs> Maris. Your prisoner, Jared Frey, has requested an audience with you. He wants to pay for his family's release. No, re release? Oh, his release. All right. We have had a son. Excellent. We would need a new ambition. Um, before we do anything else, I'm going to actually forbid myself from command. We are going to take a vacation again. Cupbearer. We need a good cupbearer. Uh, Ethan, the demon. The demon. Um, and we will get Queen Rainies out of here. And we will get Queen Visenya out of here as well. We will no longer lead armies. And another kingdom has been uh, 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 conquered. And instead of ending the episode here, we're going to continue. This will be a double conquest, and there remains but one kingdom left. Dawn. The Sands of Dawn. Prince Nymor. So it's not Princess Maria anymore, huh? She's died. Ah, it is Prince Nymor of Dorn. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Dorn shall be next. We begin the conquest of Dorn. And hopefully once that's done... Main command is no longer affecting us. Uh, court, uh, court physician Morgan is worried about my newborn son. Maris is a M Marys. It's, it's probably Marys, right? Is a feeble little thing, even compared to other infants. Morgan says he might not live to see his first birthday. Aw, that's sad. That is sad. But maybe he will survive. Maybe he'll survive. House Rain, can I give you things? No, not yet. You're still, you're still not a part of the realm. We will, we will worry about doling out titles after the conquest is over. Father, father, called Daenerys, pulling my arm, pleading to play with her in her latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Sometimes this kid can really be insufferable. Oh, come on, man. It's your kid. It's your kid. Uh, I will honor my obligation. Excellent. So who marches with us? Everyone. All of Westeros descends upon Dawn. Whatever Maester Morgan did, I cannot see any improvements in Little Mary's. He, uh, my son still seems worryingly lethargic. His subdued cry sends chills down my spine. Why am I paying that quack? You, sir, have failed. Student of language. Sure. Sure you are. Um. Ah, yes, we have my army here. Why not land it in Sunspear? Let's get people... Hey, Visenya, you can't command things. You can't command. Athan, trusted commander of the Royal Army. Yes. Um... Let's land you in Lemonwood. I mean, we outnumber their forces by almost 2,000, so I don't think the AI will press the attack. I'm kind of hoping they don't. Excellent. They are going to rally their forces, but we are going to gain... We will... Oh. The Master of Dalston seeks to kill Lord Merrick of Dalston Keep. I don't care. Lord Illifer Master has been... Malister, sorry, has been a legal and able servant. He is my rival. No. I owe him, I owe him nothing. And we are almost at 100% morale, so we will attack. We will press the attack, and we will destroy... N ah, yes, the reinforcements have been locked in movement. We will destroy them. Wait a minute, what is this? Lord Meldred of Pebbleton will suffer from a naval attack. Naval landing. And Athan has already broken. Battle has just begun, and he runs instantly. That's not good. Well, that's really not good. <laughs> that is not good. Let's see. Prince Lauren for the Westerlands. Ah, Lord Lyman of the Golden Tooth. I will pay him a visit atop my horse. Atop my horse. Atop my fucking dragon. Riding 
astride Balerion, you fly to pay Lord Lyman an unannounced visit. On arrival, you land on the highest tower of the Golden Tooth, your dragon letting out a loud roar. Lord Lyman was quick to realize the implications of your visit, welcoming you humbly and promising eternal loyalty. I like how they spelled eternal. <laughs> Discouraged from factionalism. All right. And our royal army was destroyed by the Dornish. Athan, I blame you, sir. You have failed the crown for the last time. All right, get the men back. Get the men back to Dragonstone. All right, we will let our allies handle this. I've been spending more time with my wife, Vera, lately, and, and though, of course, we did not marry for love, I can tell it is growing between us. Ah, marital bliss. Hey, that's good. We should probably be trying to sway her. Your Grace, I write to express consternation at the fact of uh, command. You don't like the fact that Jane's has command. Well, Lord Melwyn, you're not much better. But, you know, he is a lord. He is a lord. Let's make him a lord. Or a commander, I should say. We'll make him a commander. Right. So, with the armies coming back home... Sh you know what? We won't punish. We won't punish Ethan. We won't punish him. We just won't reward him. All right, whatever. And then the ships are landed, too, so go ahead and disband them. Excellent. We've disbanded all of our armies, yes? No, we still have some more. Ah, there they are. Get rid of them. Excellent. So all of our armies have been disbanded. Athan has uh, humiliated himself enough in the, in the hilarious defeat at Sunspear. But the rest of Westeros marches on Dorne, and their days are numbered. Now then, we need a new uh, ambition. Win the war. We've already done that. Adopt a lifestyle. Have five children. The funny thing is, is I don't think having five children, this ambition actually increases fertility. It doesn't. Um, I think getting a lifestyle would be the best at the, uh, of the options available. That seems to be the best. All right. Though I thought my cousin Ethan Valerion to be a more reasonable man, his request to be allowed to duel his rival Lord John Rosby. Ah, he wants to duel Lord John Rosby, and apparently he's going to wreck him. I will allow the duel. Friendly rival, friendly rivalry settled with honor. Excellent. Now then, for titles. We have got strong claims, don't care about that. We have got the twins, so we can give someone the twins. Uh, we have got Dragonstone, that is ours. We can give the crossing to somebody. The High Lordship of Casterly Rock. No, I want to click on it. So, go under De Jure here. Not Kingdom of the Westerlands. Ah, yes. So, the High Lordship of Casterly Rock will probably have to give it to one of these houses. Probably not the Lannisters. Um, House Broom? No. Probably not. How about House Clegane? House Perrin, I mean. Perrin. What what happened to Clegane? That's odd. I guess House Perrin has always owned this. Hmm. So we, we might actually give the High Lordship of Casterly Rock to uh, House Perrin. My bannerman, Lord Lucas Strong, has tried to have Sir Tyler of Waterford of Waterford arrested. Don't care! Alright, and then we've got the Kingdom of the Westerlands. Which, House Rain seems... Ooh. Their disposition. Desires the Kingdom of the Westerlands. Yes, I'm sure you do. You haven't... You haven't raised rebellion, though. They, they didn't fight for the Lannisters in rebellion, so... And they are an old and notable house, but there are a lot of other ones, too. But I believe House Craycall fought for the Lannisters. Sarsfield could be loyal, but I just don't trust Lord Melowin. I don't trust him. Uh, the Golden Tooth. Nope, they're rebellious. Rebellious indeed. Hmm. Jacaris Valerion has arrived at your court. A son was born to Athan, the demon of Hammerhorn. Excellent. Uh, I write the bad news of Dragonstone. Ah, uh, hmm. High taxes, huh? High taxes. All right. Well, time, time. Oh, perhaps it is time I asked Queen Vera, Vera, to spend time with me. Excellent. She is my queen. So that makes sense. Visenya likes me. Reina, Rainies likes uh, likes us. Vera was happy to oblige. Excellent. How much money are we making? Fourteen! Holy shit. I tried my best to be conciliatory with Vera, but we simply couldn't come to an agreement about altruism and the value of everyday kindness. Hmm. So we're not particularly kind. I would like to see Aegon be kind, but Vera is definitely not kind. She is cruel. 
What? What? Provoked. Hmm, swaying doesn't seem to always work. I write to express consternation. Let's see, Lord Balman. All right, and Lord Adam of Southstone. House Bracken. Nope, nope, nope. We do not agree. We do not agree. Factions look good. Plots. Oh, God, and there's a lot of people in our dungeons. Let's, let's ransom. Ransom as many as we can. Nice. Fantastic. Now we can build up Dragonstone even more. A castle shipyard, more boats. I would like to see the garrison increased. Oh, but private farms are also good. Oh, I thought that said 800. I was like, light, private farms are not 800 gold. What the hell? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. High taxes, mild winter. Let's not build in winter time. Building in winter is terrible. Um, realm laws. Slavery is illegal. Yeah, but the Valyrians were slavers, though. Hmm. King Aegon's religion is one that traditionally practices slavery. Aegon's culture has the trait arbitrary. Uh, one of these must be true. All right. I'm not seeing why I can't do this. Traditionally practices slavery. Any of King Aegon's vassals is either engaged in the slave trade. Has the trait slave owner, slave trader, arbitrary, or lunatic. Hmm. King Aegon's religion is one of traditionally traditionally practices slavery. I thought the relig the, 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 the Valyrian religion did. Does it say it can choose another religion as a syncretic faith? It doesn't mention anything about it. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Lord Cadwall thoroughly hates me by now and likely wishes me dead. The feeling is, of course, mutual. We shall be enemies to the end. My work with him is done. We shall be enemies to the end. Cannot imprison him. Yeah, because he sits here and pretends to be fucking uh, independent. Now he wants to marry Ray. I'm sorry, Oris. I cannot. I cannot agree. Your Grace, on behalf of the Iron Bank of Bravos, I wish to offer you a loan with terms. I'm sure you'll find favorable. This is... This is to aid in your conflict with Prince Nymor Martell, who is in debt to our rival, the ancient Bank of Karth. This seems like a good deal. We, we don't need this money, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Iron Bank. We just have no need for the money. We have more than enough money as it is. And why would I take money if I'm just going to have to fucking pay it back to you? When we don't even need it in the at, the, at this point in time. Hmm, my allies seem to be struggling with Dorn. How many troops do we have? Five, twenty thousand, some twenty thousand? Nah, meh. Has formed an alliance with Lord Damon of Driftmark. Conditions are worsening in the Twins. I write on behalf of the Iron Bank of Bravos to express the consternation to express the consternation at the actions of your bannerman, Prince Lauren Lanasta. Hey, yeah, you. I thought we were having a trial by combat. What the hell is this about? They have failed to pay the due interest on a loan. Placate the envoy with smooth words. I shall issue a reprimand. He's got 20 gold. I thought we were having a trial, sir. During the last few days, my sister wife, Queen Rainies, has been clutching at her stomach and made frequent visits to the privy. I have now been informed that she is suffering from dysentery. Oh, Jesus. She must be healed at once. If she loses control of Moraxes, that's not good. And she's friends with Ethan. Uh, we're also friends with him, right? Very grateful, divine marriage, cupbearer. He, we're, we're not technically friends, but he is friends with Rainies. If he's having an affair with Rainies, I will be very, very upset. I wish we could adopt him. Nah, that wouldn't... Well, I mean, if we could adopt him, he's High Valyrian, he would become Targaryen, and that would work out great. Lord Lord Lannister has demanded a trial before the court, which Gilano shall oversee to ensure justice is served. Lord Lauren begins to present his defense, and the court seemed captivated by it, even if I am almost con even I am almost convinced. Really? This shy guy has a, has a strong defense. Gilano stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many in court were convinced by his arguments, but then again, many seem unimpressed. All right, so he's probably going to be announced to be to be uh, innocent. Average case. Yeah, I find him guilty. Well, poor son of a bitch. Um, we will send him to the wall. He will take the black and he will go to the wall. Where he serves under Prince Harris of the Iron Isles. Excellent. It seems my maester has done something right for once. 
And now Cash of the Rock is ruled by Lord Lorien, who is much more amenable to the crown. Um, can we ransom these children? We can. Because I, I want to get them out of my dungeons. I want to get them out of the dungeons. How goes the war in the south? N oh, nice. Vera is pregnant. My allies seem to be making no progress. It seems they're afraid to go into Dorn. Hmm. We might have to handle this personally. Molly Ann cannot afford to pay us for Molly Ann's release. All right, the small spider makes my acquaintance sorry a squeal and run for cover. This has started to worry me. Spiders, I can't abide them either. Yeah, I'd like her to remain craven. You know, sabotaging the the the, the children of uh, of my political enemies is always good. Always good. Alrighty, well we are out of time for this particular episode. My allies are many, but they don't seem to be doing all that well against the Dorn. And our initial battle here in Sunspear, led by Athan the Demon of Hammerhorn himself, was a catastrophic failure, and he has no doubt been humiliated for it. We were chilling in Dragonstone, focusing on having as many babies as possible. We've recently gotten married. We have we have destroyed the crossing. We have made we have made the Lannisters bend the knee. King Lauren is no longer in the Westerlands. He is now at the Wall, and the last conquest has begun. But unfortunately, we have not made much headway. I'm considering unleashing the dragons once more, just to complete the conquest. Because once we complete the conquest, I guarantee you that's not when the wars will end. You'd think the wars would end and, and, and peace would reign over Westeros, but that's not the case. Because, uh, well, there are going to be more rebellions. There are always more rebellions. And King Aegon could at any moment die. Which, if he does, his heir is Prince Maris, who is one year old. He's one, he's a lunatic, and he's sickly. The dragon brood is not looking good right now. We will have to cross our fingers and hope the gods will show some kind of favor to House Targaryen. But that will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. This has been Crusader Kings 2, the War of Conquest. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. And until next time, I will see you all later. Mm-hmm.